The president tweeted that you didn't run for re-election because you couldn't get his endorsement. Uh, is that accurate? No, it's not accurate. You know, nothing that he said in his tweets today uh, were truthful or more accurate, and he knows it. And people around him know it. I, I would hope that staff over there would figure out ways of controlling them and you know that everything you said today was absolutely untrue. I mean, you, you said he's an untruthful president. Yeah, Are you no cool? question. Are there, no question? Yeah, no question. I mean, I don't. We grew up in our family not using the L word, okay. uh, and, but yeah, just, uh, I mean, they're provable untruths. Provable. Um, so I'm in on the Iran deal. Everybody knows the role I played there. And they're working with me, interestingly, right now uh, on uh, on tax reform. I made the deal with Toomey, you know, to allow that to go forward. I'm obviously, I'm going to make sure it's done properly. But, and, and then everything else. I mean, four times he encouraged me to run. Told me to endorse me. So I, I don't know. It's, it's amazing. Unfortunately, I think the world leaders are very aware. Uh, much of what he says is untrue. Uh, people here are because these things are provably untrue. I mean, just they're just factually incorrect, and people know the difference. So I don't know why he lowers himself uh, to such a low, low standard. And, the bases our country in the way that he does, but he does. And, uh, you know, look, I don't like responding. I, you know, you can let him go unanswered, but uh, uh, man, it's just not me. To, we don't do tweets like that. We've responded twice to, again, untruths. But, uh, you know, it's unfortunate that our nation finds itself uh, in this place. Is the President of the United States a liar? The president uh, has great difficulty with the truth on many issues. Do you regret supporting him in the election? Uh, well, let's just put it this way. I would not do that again. So you, you wouldn't support him no, again? No, uh -huh. no. No, I, I think that uh, he's proven himself uh, unable to rise to the occasion. I think many of us, me, me included, have you know tried to, you know, I've intervened. I've had private dinner. I, you know, been with him on multiple occasions to try to you know, create some kind of aspirational uh, uh, approach, if you will, to the way that he conducts himself. But uh, I don't think that that's possible. And, um, I, he's obviously not going to, to rise to the occasion as president. Do you think he's a role model to children in the United States? No. You don't? No, absolutely not. I think that, you know, the things that are happening right now that are that are harmful to our nation. Um, whether it's the breaking down of, we're going to be doing some hearings on some of the things that he purposely is breaking down relationships we have around the world that have been useful to our nation. But I think at the end of the day, when his term is over, I think the, the basing of our nation, um, the constant non-truth telling, the just the, the name calling, the things like, I think the, the basement of our nation will be what he'll be remembered most for, and, and that's regretful. Um, um, and it affects young people. I mean, we have young people who, for the first time, are, you know, watching a president uh, stating uh, you know, absolute non-truths, uh, non-stop, um, personalizing things in the way that he does. And, and it's, uh, it's, it's very sad for our nation. So. Do, you, do you trust him with access to the nuclear codes? I don't want to go into, you know, I don't want to create a bunch of hyperbole here. We're going to be, in our hearing process, we're going to be addressing the fact that he was only the one other person on the defense side and has tremendous powers. And, um, you know, I have a, uh, again, I don't want to carry this much further, but look, I, I expressed concerns a few weeks ago about his, his leadership and just his stability and uh, the lack of desire to be competent on issues and understand, and, and uh, you know, I, I, nothing has changed. And, uh, but again, I, I don't want to make this a you know, daily issue. Um, you know, we've got work that we need to do, and, and uh, he, 
who currently is, is the person that, from the executive side, we have to deal with. And the shame of it is, there are some really good people around him. And um, if he would stay out of their way and let them uh, perform, people like Tillerson and Mattis and others, um, you know, we could really make progress on things that matter really big to our country. Do you think we'd be able to speak out like this when we're not retired? I began speaking out uh, in advance. I did that, you know, it's been building for months, and you know that you've been covering this. Uh, look, I, I came up here you know, as a person who had a you know, mission to be here for two terms, and, you know, it was hard to say you were going to leave, uh, no question, but, you know, I followed through on that, and, and I think it's that, that independence so, of knowing you aren't making this a career, it does it certainly makes it a career. I think the American people know that, but uh, um, uh, I don't know what to say. Will you be going to lunch today? Oh, definitely. It's my lunch. Are you going to talk to the president and everything? Yeah. Ah, we know. Thanks, sir. Thank you, Senator.